Hello. In this video we are going to present the material selection for bicycle. First stop is its frame. It has a gold and brown metallic finish. For its parts we have four sets. Back set, middle set, front set, and bike stand. For back set we have rear tube, rear stay, chain stay. For neck tube, we have neck tube, down tube and side panel. For front set it has a handle grip, handle bar, head tube, and fork. And lastly, bike stand has a stand spring, and bike stand. The entire frame is the main component of the bicycle where wheels and other components are pieced together. It is made of carbon steel AISI 1065. Why this metal? Because it is a high carbon steel, which has high tensile strength and is also heat treatable. For the entire frame we have its mechanical properties including yield strength, tensile strength, and maximum hardness. It has carbon, manganese, phosphorus, and sulfur. Physical properties would also have its density, modulus of elasticity, and thermal conductivity, while aesthetic properties bring out its metallic gold with metallic brown accent colors. Handle grip. It is one of the places where the body makes contact to the bicycle. It is handheld for gripping and balancing the bike. It is made of cork which is a buoyant material obtained from the outer layer of a bark of an oak, since it is sweat absorbent and avoids the hand from slipping in gripping the handle for long periods. A brake lever for front rear's purpose is pulled up to halt the rotation of the wheels causing the bicycle to stop moving or brake. It is made from 6082 aluminum because it is a medium strength alloy with excellent corrosion resistance. It shows a metallic brown appeal. The following is its mechanical, physical, and chemical properties. Bike stands are made of 409 ferritic stainless steel which provides good oxidation and corrosion resistance compared to carbon steel. They are attached at the bottom portion of the frame where it is foldable and used to make the bike stand on its own when not used, unfolded, and folded when on motion. Presented are four different properties. Bike stand springs is a coil of metal that has an elastic property to assist the bike stand in its unfolded position while the bike is on motion made from austenitic SUS-301 stainless steel. It has a lower chromium and nickel content than SU-304, which allows it to harden more when worked. This is recommended for applications that require elasticity, due to its ability to acquire a high degree of strength when rolled. Here are its mechanical, physical and chemical properties. For the flywheel, we obtain a heavy wheel attached to a rotating shaft so as to smooth out delivery of power from a motor to a machine. Its material is steel FEE 230, 65C9. 65C9 is the value for its chemical property which is used for making locomotive carriage and wagon tires. Steel FEE 230 is also available for locomotive carriages and car structures screw stock and other general engineering purposes. Its mechanical, chemical, physical, aesthetic, and processability properties are shown here. Front and rear disc brakes are attached to the wheel and has coordinated rotations to the wheel. For its material, AISI 4000 Martinistic Steel is used for it is a good choice for a variety of applications because of its durability, strength and corrosion resistance. Here we have Martinistic Steel's mechanical and physical properties. Next, disc brake calipers. They are calipers connected to the disc brakes where the edge of the disc is attached in between the friction pads. To make use of it, it should be pulled from the lever applying pressure on the disc to stop it from rotating. 
Material used is 354 aluminum alloy, which was cheaper compared to the usual ductile iron. Provided here are its physical, mechanical, and chemical properties. Sprocket and chain rollers describes a profiled wheel with teeth, or cogs, that mesh with a chain, track or other perforated or indented material. A sprocket applies generally to any wheel upon which radial projections engage a chain passing over it. It is chosen to be made of FEE 230, 65C9 steel, same material as the flywheel, which are both commonly used for locomotive carriages and car structures. Properties are shown here. Treadmill conveyor belt is a walking surface of a treadmill comprises of the thin moving belt and a rigid plate held between the two surfaces of that belt so as to provide support when the transverse load of footfalls is applied. It commonly has three layers, a top cover, a carcass and a bottom cover. It is mostly made up of PVC, polyvinyl chloride, good for elasticity and is resistant to acids, salts, bases, fats, and alcohols. Conveyor belts have the following physical, mechanical, electrical, aesthetic, and chemical properties. Next, we have conveyor belt rollers. These are type of bicycle trainer that make it feasible to ride a bicycle indoors without moving forward. Its material is stainless steel SAE 304 which is the most commonly used steel that is available and affordable. Aesthetic appeal has its own white color and has its own mechanical, physical, and processability properties. The bearings are a machine element which holds another moving machine element. It allows a relative motion between the contact surfaces of the members while transferring the load. It is made of chrome steel SAE 52100, which is the most common material used to produce the load-carrying components in precision ball bearings, roller bearings, and tapered roller bearings. The following provides its mechanical, chemical, physical, aesthetic, and processability properties. A wheel is a circular component that is made to rotate on an axle bearing. It has three parts namely, rim and spokes, tire, and hub. Rim and spokes have 14mm brass nipples both made of stainless steel SAE 304. Hub has material similar to flywheel and as well as sprocket and chain rollers which was steel FE 230, and tires mostly comprise elastomer polyisoprene natural rubber, with steel carcass SAE 316 which is the second most common austenitic stainless steel after 304, A2 stainless steel. For the rim and spoke, given its mechanical, physical, aesthetic, processability properties. For the hub, yielding excellent ductility and strength in its processability property. For the wheel here we have its metal carcass properties. And another for its natural rubber. Overall, tires grooves are shown as standard road treads. Our chosen bike is formed in treadmill style, which is a naturally convenient transport for young and old people and can be used even in wearing skirts and high heels as it is also made from best quality materials. Thank you for watching.